What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. Today we got just a real quick unboxing and review on this new air compressor I just got. I actually got this from Harbor Freight. Uh, I got a really good deal on it. But without further ado, let's just jump right in and check it out. Okay, so what we got here is going to be the Fortress High Performance Series air compressor. Now this one right here is actually a 27 gallon upright air compressor. Uh, it handles up to 200 PSI. It's got a 5.1 SCFM output at 90 PSI, but it's got a lot of really good reviews online. And I thought for the price, I believe this one was going for a little over $430, but they had it on sale and I got a 10% online coupon, which I used. So I got a really good deal on this. And then while I was there, I picked up the, uh, the dual head air chuck here inflator with inline gauge, which is really nice. And I got a um, industrial coupler and plug kit. So this actually gives me my quick disconnects, a couple different settings there. And then I grabbed the uh, 3 8 50 foot long premium rubber air hose. I heard that the rubber holds up better and longer over time. They do cost just a tiny bit more, but from what I heard, they actually do have a much better longevity to them. And uh, this hose here holds up to 300 PSI anyway. So being that the air compressor holds up to 200 PSI, I thought this would be really, really good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these unboxed and let's see what this thing's made of. Okay, so we're back. So it's real simple. All you gotta do is after you take the two straps off, lift the whole box right off. Uh, it actually came with all kinds of like foam and um, bubble padding and everything like that. So it looks like all you gotta do here is take the wheels out. And I guess here's your bolts for the wheels. And that's really about it. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this taken off the bottom. Let's get the wheels on and let's take a much closer look. Okay, so we got everything out of the box. I got the two wheels put on. Very simple, just put a bolt through, put the nut on, uh, tighten them up, you're good to go. Uh, this particular hose rack here, uh, came separate just to make sure it fit the box. So it, uh, just put the rack on, put the two bolts on, you're good to go. Went over everything just to make sure everything was tight. So then next, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hoses undone, get them, get the uh, fittings put on, get everything tightened up, get everything hooked up, and then we'll turn it on, see what it sounds like. Okay, here we go. That's how loud it is. It's actually not that loud. I mean, I can actually hear myself talk while I'm filming this video. It's up to about 40, 40 PSI or so. Again, what I did for now is I just put the quick connect fittings on here. I put one on the uh, hose itself and I put quick connect on here so that way I could take tools on and off pretty quickly some of them came threaded with thread tape and then a couple of the bigger ones did not so I just used some plumbing thread tape so that's what it is let's let this build up a little bit of pressure and then we'll see how it goes Okay, so the compressor just kicked off. It's all full of air. Let's try out a tire. <clears throat> See if we can get find out where our PSI is. All right, so I'm right at about 60. So that's good. Let's try the next tire. like 52 let's put some air in get 
there. So we were about 52. I want to try to get the front tires to around 60. Okay. okay there we go. 60. Okay, so I just went ahead and blew up my wife's truck tires, got 60 PSI all the way around, worked really good. Uh, so far, I'm really happy. It's very quiet. It shut off when it was supposed to shut off. I'll have to test it out a little bit more to see how it does, how it holds up over time. Uh, and eventually, I want to add more power tools, like an impact wrench. You know, obviously, I'm going to do some powder coating someday, which I obviously don't need that much PSI for powder coating. But when I start getting into nail guns and things like that for some summer projects, we'll see how it does. But so far, I'm really happy with it. And uh, time will tell and we'll see how it does over time. Uh, but again, as for my first day unboxing review on this, so far, I'm really happy with it. It's very quiet. It filled up really quick. I'd say the entire tank was filled up and shut off maybe in 10 minutes. Um, and I didn't even hardly use any air to even make a kick back on again. So that was really nice. It wasn't super loud. It was actually fairly quiet and everything seemed good. There was no air leaking. Everything seemed really good. So I'm really, really happy with it. So I think for the air compressor and the three accessories and the tax, everything out the door was around 470, which I really didn't think was that bad. But for what I got, I'm really happy with it. And we'll just have to see how it holds up over time. So that's it for this video. Again, I told you it was going to be pretty quick. But do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video, and if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out. So that's it. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. And as always, see you in the next video.